What's going on guys? Back at the Boca Raton Inlet, gonna be doing some multi-species bottom fishing. A little size 12 Kamagatsu octopus, octopus hook is what we're gonna be going with. It's on a dropper loop break, so we got a small little one ounce sinker right below it. So for bait, we're gonna be using small pieces of shrimp. I've been using squid here the last couple times, and it's more durable, but I don't think I get as many bites, at least not from some of these smaller fish. So we'll try the shrimp. This is a little bit less durable, but I think hopefully at least my theory is that the number of bites we get will increase. So hopefully we get some nice variety of fish over on this thing. And as always, the goal is some new species for the life list. So let's give it a shot and let's see what happens. All right, so there is our little piece of shrimp. As always, I'm just gonna cast this out, not all the way out there, but kind of a little bit toward the middle of the uh, inlet. We'll let it sink down to the bottom. And just like that, we had a bite, but I don't think I got it. Yep, so super, super fast. Took the shrimp, but could not hook up with it. Got him, little Sergeant Major. All right, finally caught our first fish of the day, a little Sergeant Major. So I've had, I don't know, seven or eight hits, almost instantly as soon as my bait hits the water, but that's the only one I've been able to hook up with. So let's try to get something else. Oh, this one feels bigger. Let's see what it is. Little wrasse. All right, fish number two is a slippery wrasse species. Probably my least favorite thing that I could possibly catch out here. But it's what went after the bait. Let's take the hook out and we will get this guy back. There we go. Feels a little bit smaller. What is this tiny thing? Uh, it's a tiny little wrasse. All right, I think this is just a juvenile version of the slippery, slippery wrasse. Slightly different coloration, but the juveniles do look different than the adults. So, nothing really too exciting. Got him. Ooh, something different. So unfortunately, this appears to just be a uh, dusky damselfish. Caught plenty of these in the past, so nothing cool. But it is another new species for the day. There's a lot of other fish closer to shore here that look different. So we'll see if we can get some of those guys. Got him. Oh, this looks different. No, it doesn't. Never mind. I saw some bright blue in the water. I thought it was something new and exciting, but it was just the belly of a sergeant major. And yeah, so some of these guys have this more, more bluish tint on the body. So I saw some blue down there, but unfortunately, just one of these guys. So there are probably more of these than anything else down there. So it's going to be a hard time getting through these guys to try to catch anything that I really want. Got him. Uh, that's another 
Sergeant Major. This guy pulls well on this lighter gear. I switched up to a smaller hook just because there are some smaller fish species down there that I was trying to catch. But yeah, we gotta work, work our way through a bunch of Sergeant Majors to get any of those other ones. Got him. Uh, another Sergeant Major. Got him. Is this another dusky damselfish? I believe it is just a smaller version of him. Nice little catch, but these are still not the fish that I'm seeing down there. Got him. Ooh, something different, at least for the day. We got a sailor's grunt. Yeah, I would not call this an exciting catch because I have caught tons of these before, but it is a new catch for the day. Got him. A bigger version but it's just another dusky damselfish. So I think we are gonna take the hook out of this guy and I'm going to switch spots. All right, so this is gonna be Snag City, tons and tons of rocks. But I was here last week, didn't make a video, but I saw a lot of fish among the rocks that I have not caught before. So we'll get snagged a bunch here, I'm sure. But hopefully we can also get some different species that were not in the last spot. Got him. French grunt. All right, new species for the day but I've caught plenty of French grunts before, so a very, very nice looking fish, but not exactly what I would prefer. Got him. Uh, new species for the day, but again, not a new one for the life list. This guy's gonna be a black margate. So, very, very nice looking fish. Only my second one I've ever caught. So, pretty cool catch. But, again, I would prefer something brand, brand new. bigger. What is this? Oh, what is this thing? All right, I believe moving to here paid off because I believe this is a Spanish grunt, if I'm not mistaken. And this is a big one too. So new species for the life list, as long as I could ID it uh, positively when I get home, but the, the yellow on top there, along with the brown lines, I think that's what a Spanish grunt looks like. Got him. What is this? Ooh. Another new species for the day, yellowtail snapper. All right, so only my second ever yellowtail snapper. 
also my PB Yellowtail Snapper. So I am glad we moved because we are finding a lot of new species in this spot that's only maybe about 150 feet away from where I was fishing all day. Way smaller, Sergeant Major. All right, so caught more Sergeant Majors than anything else today, but there's gotta be some other species in this spot that I haven't caught yet. And I missed a couple bites from some bigger fish that felt very nice. Yes. All right, so another new species for the day, some sort of a box fish. I'll double check what kind this is. Now this is a species I lost a couple of videos ago when he pulled under a rock and broke me off. So I got my revenge, really, really cool fish. Never caught these guys before. And this is an awesome little catch. Nice one. What is this thing? Ooh, a big French grunt. All right, so another French grunt. It's getting dark, so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to catch fish here, but we will let this one go, and maybe we'll get one more before we gotta leave. Ooh, got one. What is this? Sergeant Major. So I went with the smaller hook trying to get one more little micro and we got ourselves a Sergeant Major. So I think this will do it because the sun has already set. So we'll let this one go and I will be back with a quick wrap up. All right, so that is gonna do it. Uh, basically fished until I couldn't see anymore. So, uh, what a difference two, two little spots that are a couple feet apart can make. First spot, a lot of boring fish, saw some cool ones down there, just couldn't get them to bite. And I walked literally 150 feet or so, uh, a little bit inland, and we got a couple new species for the life list and a much wider variety. I also lost a couple fish that were felt to be a, pr a pretty good size that I never got to see, so I don't know what those were. But yeah, now I gotta come back here again and try to fish this spot some more. So the Boca Inlet has very quickly become one of my favorite uh, saltwater multi-species spots. I catch a new fish for my life list almost every time that I'm here, and I still see so many fish in the water that would be new additions that I just cannot, uh, cannot get to bite. So, gotta make another trip back here, hopefully sometime soon, and hope you guys like this one, and I'll see you next time.